know your garbage and treated them like shit forever, even though they knew that apparently that wasn't the deal. And it will fuck over the Federation, even though the UCW's people are only a relatively small part of this universe at this point. Um, she can't even imagine uh, how costly a battle with the uh, that would be with the battle against the Gaia Kingdom looming. And if it's a question of the truth, then the price seems too high at this point, considering it might be the complete elimination of humanity. And CM says, and that's why I've left the decision up to new types. True new types. The forerunners of new mankind. And uh, the recognition, uh, it, like the Laplace's program's purpose was to recognize a true new type. And that's what it did with Banachi. None of this uh, cyber new type, none of this fortified human nonsense. True new types. Whoever they be, uh, the actual key that leads to the box. And that's why the unicorn exists. And this was put in uh, motion by Cardius Fist who uh, presumably obviously didn't imagine that his own son would become the Unicorn's pilot. Damn, see, you're gonna just have to go, that's cool and fine. So, new types and Laplace! Ooh. And then uh, Chai's like, ah, and that's what Frontal has uh, been guessing all this time. It uh, really says that CM Vista uh, was a prudent guy. He never demanded um, much. Like he was, like he went. I can publicize the Charter Stone whenever I want, so give me stuff. But he never really demanded much. He mostly just wanted a little bit of control of Anaheim Electronics and founded the Vista Foundation. And he uh, mostly uh, ushered in a coexistence where the contents of the box just didn't matter as much as the symbolic value to the world order. Uh, the box uh, whose redaction would have caused a government scandal early on took an entire new uh, angle when Xeon came in and went new types of the future. And whether new types actually existed or not was beside the point. The truth that the Federation had buried that was now the strongest weapon that Xeon could wield against it. And the box's existence had to uh, be kept the deepest of secrets to avoid uh, hell on earth. And then, uh... Ridge just says, but, uh, guess what? The, un the One Year War happened, and that wiped out, like, 70% of humanity and was pretty much, uh, hell on space. And, uh, the curse of the box grew heavier with each life lost. And, uh, each little bit of proof that it, new types actually existed. Um... Drove Rudy's parents, like he mentions his father there, and uh, everyone in Chrono into deeper secrecy for the box. And their choice was to deny the people hope and the future by keeping everyone confined to the straight and narrow path that they decided was fine. But what was the point of the order they clung to so dearly? Uh, like, he heard Rudy's voice in his heart, and like, he knows that new types are real. And he heard the thing, like, What's the deal with that? It seems like, like, I guess new types are real and they are superior to shitlords like me. It's like, but really, you're a new type. And he says, uh, like, it is possible that people can understand each other, and but he didn't trust um, the people he was supposed to be uh, protecting. Um, like, he disappointed them instead and lost good friends and fucked everything up. So... And that's because of Banaji and Minerva that the time has come. And uh, Siam says, as the box's guardian, as someone who's lived for too long, he's got one wish. He wants to give the box to a new type, should they genuinely exist. Uh, they could use the box better than him, and they could win back the proper future for mankind, was basically his hopes on this one. And it was his desire to advance technology to touch the human heart that ended up with the creation of the Psycho Frame. But he knows uh, that he's just one person in billions. And uh, Banaji is welcome to um, keep the box hidden if he wants, or even destroy it if he wants. Like, if that's the decision he as a new type will make. Um, and if that's not uh, enough proof, then uh, Banaji is like, You can even beat me to death! What's your true desire, Banaji? Uh, Banaji then answers, like, slowly and deliberately, that new if new types are truly a new form of humanity, then he doesn't believe mankind has the technology to tell them apart from not non-new types. And he says, uh, proof that um, 
he and Audrey are the ones that Siam seeks doesn't exist. He's like, you want a true new type? I don't think we can actually, like, if they do exist, I don't think we can prove that someone is or isn't. So I don't know that, like, I don't think you can uh, pick me here, and I don't know what the right thing to do here is, even if uh, I was to take it. But he does want to believe in human possibility and the future. And Siam says, you know what? Good shit. I, I believe you. I buy it. So you can publicize the box if you want, if you believe that's what's good. But Minerva addresses him, Siam uh, wants to hear his thoughts on something. Uh, did Ricard Marcinus uh, do what he did out of sense of guilt towards the colonists? And he's like, oh no, it was his way of uh, battling uh, any and all things standing in the world's way. It's like, wait, what, what do you mean, buddy? And uh, he's confident in this answer for... Um, it's like it's similar to his reason for keeping the box in the first place. Uh, he didn't just keep it as a bargaining chip, but out of fear. Uh, he saw um, something within the flames that engulfed Laplace that made him suddenly understand the future that Ricard wanted and why he had to be killed. And what he saw was the fundament of the Chrono Dogma, and the reason why they went so far to suppress uh, space noids and rein in human evolution and progress. Uh, he offered more than just a prayer to bless the founding of the Universal Century. He announced something that bound humanity since time immemorial. And uh, Siam uh, himself is the truth within the box. And he's the one person who knows about Chrono and their dogma. And while not being a follower of Chrono, can tell the tale freely and unbiased. And uh, that's why he's been kept alive so long. And the thing he saw all those years ago was an angel. And there he says, Tenshin. Tenshi. And so Bernardi's like, fucking angels shit! Okay, so the angel that Habiki saw was Advent. Did Advent do Laplace too? Is that fucker been doing shit forever? And a new voice says, ah, no. And uh, the new voice says, there's no need for you to know anymore, young Bernardi. You don't need to learn anymore. And of course, it's uh, that full frontal fucker. He's done his hair new and different. And he says that opening the box is tantamount to revealing Chrono's dogma to all, and doing so would foreclose uh, possibility and bring despair. And uh, that's why the box's existence is sufficient. Um, and then he says, uh, I don't recommend you stick your noses any further into this and you leave the rest to me. It's for the sake of mankind, after all. Uh, Miniver says he's full of shit, and he's the one who should uh, get the fuck out. Uh, he's been created in the image of uh, Shah, and he's content with nothing more than rote execution of his role. And the uh, full frontal, uh, his talk of uh, Earth, uh, of succeeding Earth, uh, yeah, like humans who succeed Earth, uh, Miniver says that that sounds like a bunch of shit. And it's the, the ravings of a man who believes mankind has no future. And then he takes off his mask, and he's got the shitty scar that Shah's got. And he claims, uh, and he, uh, and he's the high and mighty vessel who represents the will of humanity. And uh, he asks Siam to instead leave the box in his keeping instead of new types. And Siam says, "All right, all right, you're not wrong. Maybe the box ought not to be opened in the interest of allowing people to cope with the truth before their eyes, but." If so, then that's all the more reason not to leave it in the hand of someone who'd use it as a bargaining chip, such as myself. And he says, someone like you or me, by using it as a bargaining chip and using it in the threat of the box's existence at all, are misusing it and, like, it, that's not right, we shouldn't get that. And, um, he says he doesn't know how Full Frontal did it, but at least Frontal knows the true meaning of the box. And uh, he says that neither he nor Frontal, despite knowing this truth, are capable of moving into the future. But rather it's their final task to turn the reins of the future over to the children. The new types, innovators, the seed coordinators, all of that. And uh, Siam's going to intend his honour uh, to honour the decision of these young people, uh, forged in the fires uh, along the path. And Frontal is like, yeah, sure, put the mask back on, fine, sure. Whatever you say, that's fine. I won't deny you that, but... I will act in accordance with the Charter. So, uh, he's like, they can do what they want with it, but I'm gonna do what the thing says. And then he goes to touch it, and uh, there's a defensive system in the way. And uh, he's like, oh, shit, well, 
I guess if I can't touch the box and uh, take it with me and uh, act in accordance with it and put new types in charge of everything, I guess I'm just going to blow up all of Megalania. And then he runs off. Full front, though. Um, before uh, Banaji uh, runs off, he um, makes sure that Gale, the dude who's been looking after Siam, and he's going to take Gale. Uh, yeah, he's, he's like, Gale, take uh, Audrey and uh, Siam to safety. And he says he remembers Gale from his father's mansion, and Gale says it was his father's dream that the box would be opened and the future made real. And that's what Banaji was really trusted uh, with when he was given the Unicorn Gundam. And uh, Banaji is that dream made flesh. He was in Banaji's hammer. And uh, Gale tells him to go forth and do what he believes is right. But, uh. Yeah, here's the Unicorn. Some shit. Oh, good, it's Angela. So Angela shows up and he's like, ha ha! I've been given permission um, uh, for the Royal Guard to scramble and blow the shit out of Megalania. Ha ha ha! So then he does. The unicorn shows up and Angela's like, fucking unicorn! And this Neo Zeon dude is like, friggin' Gundam! The pilot can't do shit! Let's fucking kill him, he sucks! And Angela is like, hell yeah! Let's destroy it before Banaji even gets aboard. It was knocked loose by the uh, blast. It's got no pilot in it. And then uh, Banaji yells, UNICORN! And, uh... Nani heck! It just moves. It can just, like, it's remote control now. And with that, he gets in, NTD. Banaji! And he's like, UNICORN, you're my best friend. And... But, uh, Angelo shoots her thing and he's like, what the? But... J but... What the? The Psychomu system is... Stop. And, uh... Haman says, he's a psycho jammer. Shit. It's like, what the heck's that, Haman? And then Haman says, it interferes with Psychomu sensors of psycho frames. It overwhelms them with even stronger waves from outside. So you can't... Do the thing good. It's like, wow, so but the unicorn's like almost entirely a psycho frame. And then Angelo like, I fucking hated you, Banaji. Ever since I first met you, you piece of shit. And he says, uh, why can't I just hate you to death? And then Banaji's like, well, he's like, fuck you, buddy. Uh, and unfortunately, Banaji's uh, thoughts are stronger than even what the psycho jammer can manage. And he's got a... Uh, it's like, yeah, look! He's a good new type. Go for it, buddy. And Rudy's like, holy fucking... What a magic baby. Go for Merida. So now they're gonna team up. Really? He's like, Banaji, maybe just team up. So, um... Banaji's got a new sense of purpose. He wants to find a future with Audrey. And uh, he's gonna... He orders his Gundam to turn his feelings into power. Uh, Bright and Otto tell Rudy to support Banaji and not waste uh, Marida's final act. And Rudy's like, sure thing, I'll atone for the shit garbage I've done. Let's do it, Banaji. You and me. Uh, the light of the Gundams isn't just their own. Yeah, everyone's thoughts are uh, in that light. <laughs> and... Angela's like, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, good! Look at who it is! Look who it is! In the. F okay, so in the little portrait, you'll recognize St. Andrew's. Little teeny tiny head. Whoa, what's. What the. What the heck's that? And Haman, because she knows all of the shit, is like, ah, the Neo Zeong. Has been completed also, and Shai is like, "Wow, what a shitty name! It's like some bad '70s anime or something." The Neo Zeong, and uh, his full frontal. He's like, "Ah, you're going, uh, you're going to shit. I'm gonna murder everybody." And uh, he wants to. Do he's like, "Angelo, leave it to me." 
so he wants to... He, so, Full Frontal sounds genuinely sad that he's going to have to kill Vanaji and remove his light, but that's his job as a vessel of humanity! And it's time for... Yeah, he mentions the light there. Like, if he's got a, then he's got a... Oh good, he's got all of the spells. And now it's time for the final throwdown between humans. So, uh, let's do it, everybody. Gundam. Um. There's like a double bit here, so I've got to get rid of that. So let's, uh... But yeah, Unicorn Gundam. We're not on any route, this is just the combined regular path. But that's the Neo Zeong. It's got Sinanju in it. <laughs> just to pile it in a really big suit. What's his ace bonus? Oh yeah, of course it fucking is. Like, plus 20% damage and plus 20% final accuracy and evasion or some shit. But yeah, it's the new Zeong! Because Shah had a thing that was the Zeong. And now we've got the Neo Zeong, of course. Look at this fucking pile of shit over here, though. Can't even fucking murder everybody. It's like, okay, well, actually, it's okay. We get it. We just established that Gunbuster's the one that's going to smash all obstacles in the way of the... Culture of Fire. Yeah, that's an extra... 100, uh... Juice. <laughs> sure, the only woman that likes Femi is just to realise another thing that Nicola fucked up on. The only woman that Kiriko's ever loved is dead, because, uh... More obsessed humanity was more interested in exploiting her rather than finding a cure for her problem. And but Nicholas, you're gonna lose his powers, and that's way worse. <laughs> None of you know suffering like being cool and then not being cool. It's like, wow, well, buddy, if you try just not talking shit constantly. <laughs> We're not on any route. This is just the regular single combined thing. And this is just the main path, scenario 45. This fucking asshole, though, and this dude with his incoms and mega cannon, mm -hmm. and we could purge the thing, but I mean, might as well do the shots, right? We can move him next to him, so that's fine. We can do that. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Who would have guessed that the whiniest prick in the game wouldn't be Shinji? Makes you think. Is he on a bad? Blop. 
So yeah, the Flash's box had a thing that says, basically says, let new types be in charge. And then the people who are in charge didn't want that to happen. Uh, the mission, uh, we did the SR point because we beat the shit out of Barbiel and then Sardius told us the secret of the age of the civilization of fire which is anything with gun in the name is really cool. Gundams, Gunleon, Gunbuster and Gundams guide humanity to the future and Gunbuster smashes anything in the way. And now we've just got to beat up these idiots. This fucking guy, and he's got flash, strike. I don't, th I don't think he's got go again on, but he probably fucking does because he's a piece of shit. So let's not waste too much on him. What the hell, you piece of shit? He's some crazy fucking dude, Neo, whatever. Like I'm sure, and he's like, ah, but you piloted a Gundam that's different to the other Gundams. You know the secret future. Leo Jiang. Fly Gundam. Look at him. Why even bring the big pile of shit if you're just gonna stick your arms out of it and shoot guns anyway? Fucking idiot. Make you a call or something? Everybody get in this fucking truck. Bam 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 bam. Oh, and then it's everybody just fucking chilling out in here. But they can wait. Okay, so he's gonna have flash and shit all the time and be a real jerk. Now, Hibiki should be ripped enough to survive now. Shoot him fucking big. Energy links, I freaking hate you. What's your freaking problem, dude? Why are you such a pile of shit and trying to stop humanity? Gundams. Oh, okay, fine, buddy. It's because you want to kiss full frontal on the lips every day. 
Yeah, so Angelo is super in love with Full Frontal and he's mad that Full Frontal needs Benaji more than he needs him. And that's why he's gonna blow him up and kill his ass. And we're basically, well, we'll blow you up, Angelo, to prove that you got to be more than a vessel for others to make progress. But I'm pretty sure old Hibiki's fucking dead. This definitely feels like it should purge the stuff, seeing as the entire attack is him purging all of the stuff. But maybe that's just me. Oh yeah, she's fucking... she's probably toast too. I think she's gonna be toast because I think he has the ignore barriers thing. Like he's just does ignore all defensive things so he will guard prevail and all the shit. Oh! There we go! Yeah, she's fucking dead as hell. Sorry, Dad. He's also dead, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is we'll load the save just before. And we'll try that again without getting everybody moided. Good friend Hibiki. Hibiki is not structural at this stage. It's only the unicorn, I believe. Yeah, Sony Bernagi and Riddy. Shoot down the Neo Geong. I fucking love the Neo Geong. Uh, actually, no. There you go, Al. Chill that fucker out. And this one, too, because they're both jerks. Healing on her. There you go, there you go, much better.
and then we should be good. Oh my god. I guess he got the crit. Okay, and then she's just gonna defend until we can get her back into the back. Oh yeah, fucking get toasted, you stupid Neo Zeon fucker. Wrangled and drangled, as they say. I hate you for what it leads you for the DDs with the fucking Gundam, fuck you! Oh yeah, real fucking mature. Just murder fucking Crow every day. Oh yeah, just attack him twice in a fucking row. Oh, there you go, that's that then. Full Frontal decided the Crow had to fucking die this stage because he was the lowest health dude. Rather than spread it out like everybody else does, he's just like, nah, that dude's got to be fucking died. Now I could have healed him as well before, but I did like I just didn't expect him to fucking murder him. That was mostly it. That's mostly the situation there. Well, that actually is good because it means this can happen now. She can repair. That means this can happen. Where she can waste his flash. So at least now people can attack that dude. Wow, wow, You're a real jerk! Ah, Koji Kabuto, you fight for you and my fucking granddad's call. Let's go for frontal. 
Mazinga's light's gonna smash you in, talking about taking away light. He always, because he prefers to Mazinga's delight a lot. Hey, who are you to decide how humanity goes? Um, sure, let's go, buddy. Really, buy off my things. The blood of beasts, sir. Uh, let's go, full front, though. Do you have any shots left of that one? Yeah, so we'll use the one shot of that left on that guy. Yeah, good. Fucking defend him. Let's see if I give a single hoot. I fucking don't. Seeing as someone is actually hurt, and it's the lady, and I gotta make her less hurt to make the full frontal man not try and murder her constantly. Go, Tetsujin! Again, probably took. Ah, uh, you've got. Dedication child or wherever he probably gave him a compliment and everyone's like, fuck you, let's go to Tetsujin, murder that stupid dipshit who thinks he's cool when he's not. He thinks he's Shah and he's fucking not at all. Never been Shah in his life. Bam bam ba dam bam bam ba bam 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 You know what? Fuck it, I want to do that to that dude. Uh, element change. Uh, Andy's got the... The old attack after moving. Andy doubled hole. Wow! Everyone's having a good time. Except Angelo. I'll do this for the captain. I watched the first three minutes of Aquarian Logos and the reincarnated couple are Yunaha and Jin rather than the dog and the girl. Which I like a lot already. We've got a new love that transcends the ages. Fuck them. Fuck the dog. Who gives a shit? Haribo. This dude talking about Haribo. Shift Valwan. Get that weird dude. Kick a hole in him. 
like your goddamn Dighton. What the? The Rose and Zulu? Oh good, Roger can't exist anymore. Oh, does she not have... Well, she should be able to telepathy then, surely. But I guess you can't do that when you're in a truck. That's fine, that's fine. Because the main thing we're getting out of this one is I'm map attacking this dude really fucking hard. Get on guard. Blank. Shot you to fucking hell. He's still good. He's still doing good. Okay, let's look at his DE. So, you put the thing on the back and that supposedly gives you the same thrust as like, a base jabber or whatever, which is the little sled you sometimes see Gundam fellas on. Oh my god, that portrait for Angelo, holy shit! <laughs> oh god! Yeah, the, the full armor unicorn, it's got the big attack, but then such a huge drop to its next attack, and it's supposed to be, like, I think the full armor unicorn might actually be shitty. I know this is going to be a surprise to a lot of people, but I think it might be bad.
お前たちも猛獣にとらわれているか損傷チェックなど不要貴様さえ倒せば And now the double busted tomahawk. So you can't bust his true strength. It's two fucking axes, asshole. We got another like thruster module. So we're asking, uh, whatever. I think it's the space one we got. Yeah, what? What? How could this happen to me? But Angelo, get out! But Aji, why? Why was it you? Why did the commander need you more than me? Fuck you! Fuck you! Angelo, and it's like, yeah, no, he sucked. He was garbage, and he couldn't. Like, he couldn't step out of Frontal Shadow, and uh, then Shai's like, yeah, allow this to be an abject lesson. It takes more than being a vessel uh, for others to make progress. And they do that little thing. Him with no, no, because she'll just actually die. I saw sort of really want Hibiki in the front to get that to protect the Nono on this one. So Uh, he doesn't have to protect Combuster though. He doesn't have to protect anybody else, so that's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have even bothered with that because this dude's only gonna fucking make us miss it. Oh no, we're not. Okay, yes. This dude's fucking murdered. I guess this dude made a terrible mistake. So he mentions the Neo Zeon and he mentions uh, power, like it's true power of humanity or whatever. And Noriko's like, no, Gunbuster is made to protect humanity. I'll show you Gunbuster's full power, you garbage man. It's the power of uh, people inside it, whatever. Blah. Like, then he mentions humanity and the light and their power. And then Noriko's like, buddy, you're toast. Gunbuster's Inferno is gonna burn you to ashes, buddy. グラハムイカ。その英語は理解する。だが、認める気はない。先の先を読んだというのか。敵と接触したわよ、ノリコ。了解。こちらから仕掛けます。お姉様、あれを使うわ。Let's give him the kick. Inazuma! I guess we just allowed the the crossed arms now forever. Always dynamic kill. Oh, 